What's going on, broskies? My name is Shivoki. Welcome back once again to another patch. No, it's video. This patch is a fucking weird one. There's some things that make me really happy. There's some things that make me really sad. There's some things that I'm like, why the fuck are we doing this? And overall, I'm like, okay, whatever. Guys, this is patch 4.6, Racer Rumble. We're bringing in a new game mode, a lot of new cool skins, and uh, some big changes overall across the board. Guys, welcome to the video. Be sure to leave a like, show support, comment down below. Your top favorite thing of this patch, it could be a skin, it could be a game mode, it could be an item change, a god change, whatever it is, I want to know, and I'll personally you know my one at the very end. Also, subscribe. We're almost at 20k subscribers. We're almost there. I cannot wait. First skin is an Apollo skin. Winner's Circle Apollo. Look at the big one for you guys. The big one too. Why not? We'll check it out real quick. Sexy. It is nice. It is nice. Look at this skin. So pretty freaking awesome. Not gonna lie. I love the hair. Love the whole look. I like the fact that he's actually using like kind of like really cool tools to shoot instead. And yeah, before I say anything about any other skins, I don't know how I feel about the race mode. The race mode is kind of weird to me. I kind of feel like it's really shitty. And at the moment, I'm not sure if you have to pay for it or not. Hopefully it's free. If it's free, I won't really care. You need to pay for it. I'm gonna maybe go off on this video. So anyway, this Athena skin is absolutely amazing. I love the art style, just like the art style on that one Awelix skin. I think her, I think the Awelix Mastery skin. Same art style on, the, on that one. Very very cool looking. I love it. It's so amazing. Sounds so cool. And this one got my attention. It's a freaking Star Wars Shanga skin. Oh my god! You can't. You just gotta stop it. I already like Shanga enough. Even though she beat my ass on that one v one video not too long ago, but still a very very cool skin. I'm not gonna lie. Look at this, man. This is a good... I love Star Wars. That, that made me happy. That made me really happy here. Eager Ratatoskray. Very cool skin. Instead of throwing nuts, he throws a fucking controller. Sounds like some really unhappy, you know, I don't know, maybe a jungler? <laughs> Oops. Anyway, very, very awesome card art. I love the got nuts down there below. He's all, he's even playing it. And there's even a little stream there. You can see uh, Nifflin and someone else. Uh, something Chapo. <laughs> really, really cool. I like the skin. I'm not gonna lie. This Susano one's fucking dope. Serpent Slayer Susano, oh, I love it. I love his hat. It's so awesome looking. A little kind of grin going there with the badass teeth. Really cool armor. Great color scheme. Cool spikes all over his armor and his sword and everything. I just, I'm obsessed with that skin. I don't even play him. I think it's really, really cool. And then, of course, Kurnanos got his uh, mastery skins as well. Very nice. The boars are fucking creepy looking, but whatever. Good good skin. Good skin. Now, guys, Smice Advent. Smice? Smice. Smice. Smite Adventure Apollo's Race Rumble is the next thing. And before we had that, the Capture the Flag thing, which was fucking garbage. Do you like it? I'm sorry. I, play, I thought it was terrible. I played two games, and the entire time I was like, this is fucking lame. It's stupid. But supposedly, this little cool thing here, we can race cars now, kind of like Mario Kart. There's a little thing you can use, little abilities. There's boost pads. There's little boxes with abilities, and just like Mario Kart, basically. You know, so you know higher res originality is their best thing. Anyway. Welcome to Apollo's Racer Rumble and a new excite. Uh, sorry, wow, I can't, can't even read. An all-new racing game mode. Choose your uh, your god, hop into their car, and be the first to cross the finish line with this new adventure. Included with the adventure is a racer bundle, which will unlock everything listed below and al allow an unlock for an adventure vault skin with gold key. So basically. I'm assuming you can do it for free, but if you want to get anything that's even cool, remotely cool, if you're into skins and into things like that, you have to pay. So, lately, I'm going to be honest, lately high res has been fucking killing me, like, like paladins. Who wants to buy a head skin, a chest skin, a body skin, all these skins, and you come over here to smite, and all these fucking skins are way overpriced, all these, uh, these cool things, like the Egyptian one. I was like, oh, very cool, we can unlock skins. Oh, no, you have to buy a skin before you can unlock anything. So, you couldn't even really do anything without buying something. I'm like, ah. The money greed is too much for me. It's not, it's a free-to-play game, and I get it. All these things, you know, is the only way for them to make money, but it's a little too much in my opinion. But guys, here we go for the item changes. Rod of a this. Reduce healing bonus for passive in combat from 20% to 10%. Like, stop fucking up my healers, please. Holy shit, high res. Total healing bonus reduced from 30% to 20%. Ah, my god, it's non-stop. The healing meta is gone. <laughs> Rod of healing, reduced healing bonus from passive in combat from 10% to 5%. Total healing bonus reduced from 15% to 10%. Big one, runic shield. Added 100 health on runic shield. Can't complain, thank you very much, hybrids. That's cool, but all right, appreciate it. Shield of thorns, fix an issue with the tooltip of shield of thorns displayed in incorrect percent reflect amount. Very true, thank you for fixing it. Um, one of my actually favorite items right now, the Shield of Thorns. I'm really enjoying it, especially when it comes to like 
1v1s, when I play uh, Kasembo, or when I play anyone I, who I, even Osiris a little bit. I just really enjoy thorns on a certain god. So yeah, it's kind of cool. God changes here, guys, to fix an issue where, oh, my phone's on, Jesus, where Athena's ultimate could cause her to gain collision against ally units. I've heard a lot about this. Personally, have not dealt with it, but another cool thing. A wheelish. Fix an issue where a wheelish could T-pose if hit by Krenonos' ultimate. I did not know that. Good fix. No, the Hades, guys, the Hades. I'm gonna let you know. <laughs> I'm gonna let you know right now. This Hades shit is like, damn. Just wait. It gets even crazier. Okay. So, I'm gonna try to keep it. I want you guys to see the whole thing. Okay. Just keep your eyes where they're supposed to be, motherfuckers. Base sets. Reduce physical protections uh, from 3.2 to 2.6 because he's not a guardian anymore. I definitely agree that they should be reduced a little bit less. So I'm okay with that one. Reduce base health from 490 to 450. So a little hit there. Now he's more of a mage. Okay, and the base base health. Now <laughs> increase base attack speed from 0.87 to 0.95. It's pretty pretty faster. Now death from below. Increase damage from 50 to 190 to 70 to 270. Shroud of Darkness. Reduce mana cost from 80 to 60. Devour Souls. The ability now does deals a detonate damage to the target detonated. So they have the blight on them, and they get hit by it. Oh, it's just scary. More damage, guys. 60 to 80 instead of 65 to 105 on the reduced mana cost there. Um, and, and there's a new effect to show the, uh, the the detonation on the targets as well. And Pillar of Agony, guys. Increase protections from 60 to 80 to 60 to 100. Pillar of Agony no longer consumes blight. Blighted targets will now have their magical protections reduced before taking the first tick of damage. Like, oh my goodness, Hades is a fucking monster. He's scary. He's, oh, woo, wait, those Hades mains hiding somewhere in their fucking cave are going to come out and just destroy the whole Smite community. That's, that's pretty badass. That's pretty cool. Ho ye, increase base attack speed from 0.9 to 0.95, increase base power from 38 to 40. So a little bit of love on the ho ye. You might see my 1v1s more often. You might see him replacing some honor picks. You might see him replacing some picks in general. You might definitely see him replacing some Scotty. If you know what I'm talking about already. Oh, I'm sorry, my Scotty mains. You will see soon. Kukukon, fix an issue where Kuku, 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 Kuku had uh, invisible base attack effects. I did see this pretty fucking often. So, good job. Fuck, get your game straight, guys. Jesus. Medusa, juicy, juicy Medusa. Fix an issue where Medusa's lacerate would highlight minions as if they would be hit. True. I did see that. Fix an issue where acid spray would not would not highlight enemies behind Medusa statues. Oh, motherfucker. Nemesis, sis, sis, sis. Fix an issue where Nemesis couldn't use her second dash if her mana was below a certain amount. True, it's fucking annoying because it's supposed to have two dashes, bitch. And Raijin. Fix an issue where Raijin's passive would not be correctly consumed by Raiju. That's fucking bullshit. Good job. Fix that one too. Now, Ravon. Listen, Esmagon, if you're watching this video, you're my friend. I'm really happy for you. I'm really happy for anyone who likes Ravon. Because Ravon is now. He's back. <gasps> He's back, he's back, he's back, he's gonna fuck everyone up, he's so scary now. Oh god, Mystic Rush's ultimate increased damage from 150 to... Just kidding. <laughs> 150 to 450 to 200 to 500 damage. The l so he hits 200 and his ult that early, that's scary dude. Oh, what's he level 5? 200. That's... The link target mechanic has been removed. Okay, you're like, oh, what's that? Why? No, no. Shit, fuck it. It's nice, okay. Now provides a 50% damage reduction buff to Ravon upon landing. Enemy gods hit by Mystic Rush take 10% increased damage from all sources. And Mystic Rush can now hit minions. So if you have a little bitch ass Bologna hiding behind her archers, motherfucker! Boom! Guess what? The minions are dead too. And you think it's lost 200 health at least. Or 500 if it's, if it's max level. Oh my god, it's crazy, bro. Crazy. The best part about it is that for me, it's the 10% and the 50%. The 10%, you land on that tank, they can take 10% more damage from all sources. Minions, fucking gods, butthole. I don't give a everything. Butthole damage. Everything. That's crazy. Scotty. I'm sorry, Scotty means. Winter's Grass. Calder is no longer immune to damage and this ability. However, he will still fully heal on activation. So yeah, okay, it's not a huge hit, but you won't see her as often anymore, guys. That fucking Calder being immune thing was huge. It was the biggest thing ever. It was so strong and so powerful, and it really actually made her, oh, not a bad a middle lane, a pretty good, a really good ADC, and even a solo lane sometimes, you know, in the more casual games. And holy shit, now it's like... Uh, you know, a good ADC could take out Calder, like, 
Easy. Easy. So that's a pretty big hit to Scotty, guys. The Morgan fixed an issue where the Spectator client would show an incorrect cooldown for the Morgan Relics. And I haven't seen that yet at all. And Zeus fixed an issue where Zeus charges would not appear correctly. I did personally know that yesterday. I recorded a video for you guys tomorrow about Zeus. And it's crazy. I didn't do that good, but the build was kind of fun. So this expected. It was a fun game. I had fun. You guys been asking for Zeus lately a lot. So I was like, no, I'm going to bring my boy Zeus. Guys, patch 4.6 is pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. Some really awesome skins. Personally, my favorite skin. Ah, my God. Has to be the Intergalactic Chunga. Intergalactic Chunga, after that, it would be, it'd be Bologna. I am. <laughs> Yeah, Athena. So definitely my favorite skin, but my favorite change, bro, hands down, is the Ravon. The Ravon buff is crazy. I'm excited to see the Hades buff, but hands down for me, it's the Ravon, the Ravon buff. Very, very cool. I'm excited to see the game. Also, guys, I'll, please let me know in the comments down below your personal favorite skin and personal favorite change of the game in general. I want to hear it. I'm stoked. Also, what do you want to see happen to the game personally? I really want to see Hercules get more nerfed. I know I say it all the time. I fucking think he's so broken. The healing meta is making him a little... Uh, healing reduction on you know like 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 Rob Sibylus just got hit. All these like nerfs the healing is helping a little bit, but he's still a fucking douche man. I hate Hercules. <laughs> anyway guys thanks for watching the video. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know what's up and also leave a like show support. Subscribe for more content from your broski Shivoki. Guys I have a clan. People ask all the time, yo Shiv can I join your clan? I have a clan guys. On PS4, it's called Bromo, B-R-O-M-O, but on PC and Xbox, it's called Broski Nation, B-R-O-S-K-E-E -E Nation, N-A-T-I-O-N. Fantastic clan, guys, a good amount of really awesome, you know, um, officers, really cool people. We play together very, very often. I play with you guys very often when I get on Xbox and I stream. Uh, Xbox might play with you guys very often on 1v1s, whatever's going on. Guys, I do have a Beam, I do have a Twitch, I have... Instagram, Facebook, all that. Every you guys ask me every video about these things. It's all in the description down below. All of it. If you can't find it in there, go onto my page. You'll find the little links on top. Just support me, guys. I appreciate the love. We're almost at 20k. You guys are amazing. Have a good one. Have a fantastic day. I hope you guys enjoy this awesome patch. And hope, let me know what you guys think about the racing thing. Personally, I'm like, eh, really, it's cool, but we'll see. I'll give it a chance. I'll give it a try and chance. All right, guys. Late racing. Have a good one. And as always, my friends, do some more, fuckers. Do some more.